Welcome, my friends, to day 26 of Kegel Camp. I am so excited, as always, that you're still here with me. If you're just joining for the first time, please go back to day one. And if anything at any time is ever too much, pause, go back a couple of days, go back a couple of weeks if you're with me right now. Um, or if you're feeling sore or uncomfortable in any way, please check the video notes for alternatives that might be better suited. We've actually really progressed fairly rapidly. So if at any point this is too much, then please modify or back off, push pause on this program. You can always come back to it. But if you're ready, let's get right into it with some freestyle kegels. That's how we're gonna start off today is just by doing a kegel, any type of kegel, in any position you'd like, something new. So maybe you wanna try like a puppy pose. This is one of my favorite poses from yoga where your hips are over your knees and you are in this position right here. The thing I like about puppy pose is that it really separates your sitting bones apart, which is a nice position that puts your pelvic floor muscles on stretch and allows you to really feel that squeeze and lift and then the full release. Another position that you can try, so just be playing around right now and experimenting with whatever you want. Another position you can try is a full straddle. If you have the flexibility for a straddle stretch, it can feel really nice to sit up nice and tall, inhale, do the decompression breath that we talked about yesterday, where you exhale, lift your pelvic floor and fold forward. So you're decompressing that pelvic floor. And then in this kind of folded forward position where your pelvic floor is again on stretch, see if you can feel like you're lifting your pelvic floor muscles away from the floor, lifting your perineum away from the floor and then releasing it back down. So just play around, finish up whatever position you were in. Maybe you're just watching and you're, you're just sitting and that's okay too, but just kind of explore different options. And when you're ready, go ahead and come back. We are going to get into a really cool routine today that's gonna be mostly standing. So come on up to stand and join me. Okay, in this position, standing up, I want to go ahead and go back to the kegels that we did a couple of days ago where you do one and then you release. And then you do two and then three and then four and then five. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this standing position, nice and tall and aligned, we're firing up the core some more, this time in standing. One kegel and then release all the way. Now we're going to do two kegels. So lift, release, lift, release, let it all go. This next one, let's go a little quicker. So three quick kegels. Squeeze and lift, release, two, three, and then release all the way. Make sure that you're totally released between contractions. Now we do four. So one, two, three, four, release all the way. Last one, we do five. So one, two, three, four, five, release all the complete way. Let it all go, shake it all out. As I've said before, maybe you even want to grab your sitting bones and kind of work them apart. I know that looks weird, don't laugh at me, or go ahead, it's okay. But just release them apart and let it all go. Now, I want you to engage your pelvic floor, do a little kegel and a boxer shuffle. So hold that little kegel as we just boxer shuffle side to side. Now, I want you to know that for the last five days of Kegel Camp, there are gonna be some moves that may not be appropriate for everyone. For some people, it's just gonna to be too much. So you might need to modify, and that's okay. I'm gonna be challenging you more with your balance, some impact, etc. So, a couple more boxer shuffles, and then release the pelvic floor. Shake it all out, let the pelvic floor go. Totally relaxed. All right, our next move is a jumping jack. So hopefully you're relaxed because we're gonna engage the pelvic floor again. If you are just not up for a jumping jack, that is totally okay. You can do the step tap that we did uh, a couple of days ago. So the step tap, you there's no impact. It's just a very, very light step and tap. You're engaged in your pelvic floor, but there's no bouncing. If you want to do the jumping jack, Make sure you're lifted through the pelvic floor and let's go ahead and go for it. So, yep, you got it. Holding that light, gentle kegel this whole 
time. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Maybe march in place or maybe just, you know, stand, shake out your legs, whatever feels good to you, but go ahead and let it go. I know for me, for letting it go, I always like to shimmy. It's just what I like to do. Shake it all out, let it go. Let's go ahead and lift the pelvic floor, go back to that boxer shuffle. So probably all of us can do the boxer shuffle. There's a tiny bit of impact, but it's not much. So feel that gentle lift of the pelvic floor in this boxer shuffle. Totally engaged and lifted. And we're gonna do one more round of the step tap or the jumping jacks. So go ahead now, release the pelvic floor contraction, release the kegel, let it go, shake out the legs, and prepare for one more round of the step taps or the jacks. I'm doing the jacks. So lift up your pelvic floor, do your kegel, hold it, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, whoo, let it go, relax. Shake it all out, whoo, you might need to walk around the room, shake out your arms and legs, just make sure you are released. Again, if you need to do that weird move, go for it. No one's watching, except you guys are all watching me. <laughs> so if, the next move we have is a balance challenge. So we have done tree pose already, we've done it before, but we're gonna do it again and add a reach this time. So lift your pelvic floor, pulling your low abs, zipped up and strong. When you do this move, don't let your hip jut out to the side. Stay lifted and bring your leg, your opposite leg up onto your calf. Or if you want to, if you are a yoga person, if you're a yogi, you can put it up a little higher. I'm gonna go ahead and show down on my calf. This is an external rotation of this leg, externally rotating. The knee is coming out to the side. Maybe you're holding on to something for support. No matter what, even if you're holding on, you are lifted through the core. You're feeling that engaged hips, pelvic floor, low abs, everything. Now reach your arms up and sway just a little bit with your arms. You're really gonna have to keep your balance here. Just a tiny sway like a tree in the breeze. This is a pelvic floor exercise and the rest of our core as well. Go ahead and release. <sighs> Shake it out. Shake out the legs and then we move into the other side. So let it all go. <sighs> Isn't it great that you can work your pelvic floor when you're doing other moves? We're multitasking. It's not just about kegels. There's more than just kegels. So other side, we lift up our pelvic floor, do our kegel, pull in our low abs, nice engaged posture, and come into your tree on the other side. Again, this hip is gonna want to jut out to the side. Don't let it. You wanna use your hip muscles to pull everything back into place. This leg right here is externally rotated at the hip. You're working those glutes, those hip rotator muscles, and you're working your whole core. Now, reach the arms up if you can. Hold it, or you can sway in the breeze like a tree. Whatever you wanna do, just challenge your balance and engage that core, and keep breathing. When your core is engaged down low, you can still breathe into your chest. It might not be that full, beautiful belly breath that we did on day 25, but it's definitely gonna be a, a, a steady breath. You never want to hold your breath. Okay, release the arms, release the leg, and release that core. <sighs> Keep in mind that whenever I say core, the pelvic floor is included in the core. It's the floor of the core. So you're releasing everything. Shake it all out. Last move is our 40 quick kegels. So I'm gonna let you hopefully do them in standing. You can also sit down if you need to or lie down, but let's try to do them in standing today. If you wanna really go for it, you can walk around a couple of times, you know, around the room, but let's just focus on standing in one position for most of us. So in this position, 40 times, start now. It's a squeeze and release. A squeeze and lift, full release. Squeeze and lift, full release. Keep going at your own pace. 
I'm just going to talk to you a little bit more as you do your kegels, 40 of them. So I hope that by now you are using some of the exercises and really lifestyle tips that we've talked about in this program throughout your entire day. Kegel Camp is about more than just doing, you know, an exercise little session in the morning, maybe even your daily double at night. The daily double was on day 15 where you do the bed exercises if you want to. But it's about more than that because there's all those hours in between your morning Kegel Camp and your evening daily double in bed. There's the rest of the day. And that's the time when you're gonna to want to be lifting correctly, using your pelvic floor and your core when you're lifting. You're gonna be wanting to use that decompression breath every time you fold forward to grab something off the floor. You're gonna be wanting to use all of the other, you know, things that we've talked about. Using your core, firing things up to find your balance. Maybe you're standing at the top of a ladder, a step stool, and you're reaching for something and you need that balance. Maybe you're pushing a vacuum cleaner and it's really a hard push along that carpet and you need to use that core and your breath to exhale as you push. This is what we're learning in Kegel Camp and I hope this is what you're taking home with you. So you're probably done with those 40 quick Kegels by now. Please release and bloom your sitting bones apart. Release the pelvic floor, breathe into your belly. We never want to carry too much tension or stress in this area but we do need to know how to fire these muscles a little bit extra on when we really need them. And that's what we're learning in Kegel Camp. So please come back for more. We have just a few more days left. I hope you've enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Check the video notes for more ways to keep Kegel Camp with you for the long term. I have options. And until next time, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter.